plagued with pollution, a Mantee County community faces more threats of contamination more than 20 years after learning an old beryllium plant polluted 200 acres of groundwater. 10 Investigates' Emerald Morrow uncovers the new hazards, what's being done, and why decades later it's still not enough. The eye doesn't see and the nose can't smell the trouble in the water of Talabas Swell. My name is Walter Bryant. These are the names and these are the faces. Welcome to Talabas. Not realizing that I was bathing in, 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 in toxic stuff. So this investigation got its start last year when I found out that researchers at the University of South Florida got a half million dollar grant from the EPA to study pollution in Talabast. And that's a really small majority African-American community in unincorporated Manatee County. Christian Wells, professor of anthropology. The community of Talabast. <laughs> that's my brother, yeah. <laughs> is a neighborhood Never go do a thing. of surprisingly You're going to be 18 years old in two months. Happy, upbeat, close, family-related people that have this really uh, horrible past of drinking contaminated well water for a long time. Irvin Smith, I was born and raised in Talavas, Florida. The water flowing from this tap hasn't always been safe. You know, they should have said something. For years, Smith worked at a now shuttered beryllium plant, exposed to toxic chemicals that troubled Talabas for decades, where most people were on wells. I've lost a lot of family, sister, and cancer. My dad, he, he passed away with cancer. At one point, data showed that people who lived in Talavast after 1962 for 10 or more years and used well water were more than eight times more likely to develop cancer. My mom, she had the cancer and uh, my brothers, all of us ended up with, you know, with the prostate cancer. Walter Bryant worked at the plant. So did Beatrice Ziegler's husband, who died after a bout with borreliosis. Boy, I miss my husband. I had a good man. Lockheed Martin, which took over the plant property in 1996, notified the state of the contamination in 2000, but neither told the community. It was years before neighbors knew they'd been drinking contaminated well water. Me personally, I always gonna go back to color our skin. No one seemed to care about Talavas. I don't know why. And about a block from those tracks is where our investigation picks back up. Paul Maxwell, senior geologist. Maxwell is one of the scientists working through that EPA grant. He's sampling monitoring wells his company installed at 15 Talavast homes over the last few months. The testing doesn't replace what the state requires of Lockheed Martin, but it's an extra layer of knowledge and protection for this community. Collecting some groundwater samples. Groundwater that can also impact air quality. There's vapors that the groundwater emits, essentially, which we call soil gas. Through public records, I got a copy of Lockheed Martin's most recent report to the state. It shows an increase in groundwater chemicals at concentrations above the target cleanup level. It also shows the groundwater plume has started to spread. Records say the company has cleaned dozens of acres of pollution, but the plume still covers more than 100 acres of land. An independent review of that report says there needs to be urgent action to stop further contamination. What's at risk if nobody stands up to help Talabast? People will continue to die of cancer. My name is Sandra Otero, and I moved to Talabast almost three years ago. But she didn't know about the contamination. No one told me anything. Hardly anything lives on my plants. It's weird, they die. I don't even leave my dog out here too long because I'm afraid. <laughs> As for the faces of Talavast, the push continues for clean water, air, and soil in Talavast, the town they call home. 
That was Emerald Morrow reporting. Lockheed Martin has not yet responded to 10 Investigate's request for an interview. Emerald is also still waiting to hear back from the state. Right now, it's estimated cleanup could take a century if no one takes action.